Hello fellow vapors, time for another first impressions and unboxing video and today we've got the TC40 mini kit by Kim Sun, which is a brand of Kim Ree. There we go. We'll get that box in focus. So what we're going to do, we're going to do what we normally do, go down to the table, have an unboxing, have a look into the device, set it all up, get it vaping and give our first impressions on it. And then in about three, four weeks time, we'll come back and give a final full in-depth review. So I've had some time to fanny about with it and see if there are any problems, see if there are any pluses or minuses. But yeah, this is just the first impressions of this. And yeah, we'll get down to the table and I'll see you there. So here we have the outside of the box. You've got Kim Sun temperature control there. Brand of Kim Ree. You've got the TC 40 watt mini, some speakers. Some, what are they? They look like bullets or rockets. I don't know what they are there. But whatever those are, they look fabulous. You got Kim Sun about brand of Kim Ree TC40 mini kit. On the side you've got your scratchy scratchy and your warnings. Pause that if you want to look at it. We don't. On the top it's TC40 mini kit. On the other side you've got your contents or is it your contents? No, it's just your your basic outline. So you've got straight to lung and I presume that's STM straight to mouth. TC40 temp control smart anti-counterfeiting system synchronous data display smart update system so please check the coil after several times refilling or when the first time filling please screw the coil to the tank base if it is loose on the back we've got tc40 on the back there you've got your specs so you've got your 1.1 mil tank you've got your 0.32 ohm now they are titanium coils um, you've got your size, your battery wattage range, your battery capacity, your battery applicable to 0.15 to 2 ohm atomizer and it takes two hours to charge. And your start kit contains your STL tank 2, your TC40 watt mini, your USB cable, caution card, user manual and one extra coil. Now Kim Sun and Kim Ri, um, they're quite proud of what they do and what not. So they're an ISO 9001 and 14001, GSV and WCA, BRC and HACCP. I know HACCP, it's Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points. 3500 um, patents, CGMP and GMP, and ISO 13485 medical certification. You've also got your barcode there, made in China, designed and manufactured by Kimri, Kim, Kimsun.com. So that is all the uh, externals of the box. So let's take it out. It slides off nicely. Got a bit of foam padding in the top there. We'll slide that to one side. Now you have the TC40 there. Now this is really my first time. I've had a look at it and put it back in and that is it. So you're getting genuine first impressions. So we're going to have a quick look around the device there and then put it away because we're going to have a look what else is in the box. You've got a nice little red tab there. Pull that out and the foam comes out. Pull that up. You have got your USB charging cable. We'll put that in the top of the box. You've got a spare titanium coil and these are labelled up as such. I'm not sure if that red bung is meant to be there I won't touch that but let's see if we can focus in on that right you've got your 3.2 ohms uh, 0.32 ohms sorry and then you've got Kim Sun and then you've got TI there you have to take my word for it TI you can kind of see it there underneath my finger ti there we go apologies about that so we'll put that back in the packet and they also sent me a pack of five coils as well ti coils so that is absolutely fantastic thank you to them for that let's knock that focus back out 
Inside, you've got a little information card. Small size, big power, concise and elegant design, mini e-cigarette with vi big vapor. And that's just your main cell points and stuff like that. Pause that if you want. That goes in the box. Your FAQ. Right. Why does the e-cigarette device exist? E-liquid leaking. Ah, oh, right, okay. The, these are a bit of a bad translation here, but um, these are like your your FAQs. If something goes wrong, what's going on? You read that, but we won't read that. Caution card. Now, this is kind of like the Kangatech thing. Um, please do not vape before filling e-liquid. Coil installation. We'll keep that to one side so we can abide by those. And now you've got your instruction or user manual. So let's open it. You have got the about and what it contains there, your components. We're going to quickly flick through these. How to use, how to fill it, how to replace the coil, how to switch control mode, temperature power, adjust the airflow, lock and unlock, smart and counterfeiting. Um, Right, you can download a tool from Kim Sun to check the authenticity and you can update it as well. Look, you could download the tool and software to upgrade the mod to update the function. So that is good that it's upgradable. And on the back there, you've got your usual info. On the other side, how to charge, tips for use, precautions, warranties, warranties about Kim Re. And that is that. So that is the instruction manual there. So let's go down into the device. So we have got the mod and the tank. You've got a fire button there. You've got a plus button and a minus button. You've got TC 40 watt mini. On the back there you've got your CE kind of things going on there. And there you've got your Kim Sun. You've got your micro USB charger with a happy face. Look at that. I like it when there's a face on a mod. Um, you've got two Allen or hex key screws there for taking apart if you ever need to do so. And on top is flat and chrome. So you may have noticed that there's no screen. Would you look at that? Now there is. Yeah. The screen is behind this. It's like one of those two-way mirror things. So let's have a look at the tank. We'll take the tank apart. Ooh, hopefully not break it. So you have your drip tip. And that's got a double O-ring on there as well. It's like chrome with a black plastic insert. Or Delrin. Now this reminds me of the Subtank Nano. It's pretty similar with like that cagey bit there. So we're taking this apart. You have got your the tank assembly there. That is how you fill it. You fill it down down one of the holes there. We won't take that apart because that will be too much. We will take these coils out here. You've got like the rubber o-ring there. But these coils are tiny. Oh, you just pinch and twist, and they come out nicely. So yeah, these are the coils, as we saw before, but they are absolutely tiny, and the one installed is a 0.32 ohm titanium. You've got a little center pin in there. This is the base there, made in China. You've got your center pin there with your insulator in the middle, and that is that, really. Um, we'll have a look at the airflow tighten that up so the airflow on this you've got a little uh, little pin in there it's hard to get with that there we go there's a pin just there and that lets you open or close the airflow so that is fully open that is closed so you've got one two airflow holes there one on either side so right let's put that back together what I might do as well while I'm here is fill this up with some e-liquid. So let's put something nice in it. 
I'm going to put something nice and fresh in there, I think. I'm going to put the black by Zeus Juice in there. So, filling down one of the holes on the side there, you see that gap there. Whack it in. Remember, it only has one mil of e liquid. So, I don't know. Should be absolutely fine. We'll fill that up all the way. What I'm going to do as well, what I tend to do, is even though there are little holes on, or uh, little uh, wicking holes on there, I'm going to dab a few in there. And when we go through the actual device, it's going to start that wicking process off. So you keep that upside down, put that in, screw it on, and you're done. I will close the airflow off. And we will let that soak in for the next five or so minutes. We'll put the drip tip on. I actually like the uh, chrome finish of this, or the polished finish. You've got Kim Ri on there. Oh, sorry, Kim's son on there. Yeah, I think it's a nice little tank. No, but we will put that back on the mod and go through all the functions. And this is really light. You can. It is probably. I'll find a 10 mil bottle of juice that I haven't opened yet. I would say it's probably the same weight without the tank on as a 10 mil bottle of juice, maybe even less. So on the top there, you've got your 510. I don't know if it's spring loaded. Yes, it is. Now that is surprising, you've got a spring loaded 510 pin. So you are able to put on other devices. So that's gonna be a bit too big. So maybe like a 19 or 18 mil tank, something like that. Not something like a Mason 40 mil that's gonna completely overhang that like mad, look at it. Um, even though that might work. Spill a bit of juice there. But um, yeah, we'll put the tank back on. Let's kind of recognize that tank. So it's off at the moment. What we're going to have to do, because this is a reflected screen, we're going to have to try and get it there. So you've got your off. Five clicks to turn it on. And it tells you your battery percentage there. So five clicks off. My battery is at 72%. So this is in wattage mode. You've got a W there. I'm going to try and zoom this in a bit. Right, so you've got 72% battery there, 40 watts. So you can scroll down with the down button. There we go. And that goes all the way down to 5 watts all the way up. Look at that scroll through. That is quite nicely scrolling to 40 watts in no time whatsoever. So you press the fire button three times. Power mode, PPP, TINI, sorry about that, PPP, TI, so titanium, you've got your Fahrenheit, Celsius, and then you've got uh, nickel, Fahrenheit, Celsius, PPP, power, 40 watts. So let, let's scroll that all the way down. We're going to go for about half wattage at the moment. There we go. And then we're going to go into titanium, PPP. TI and Celsius. Right, so we're at 315 Celsius there. I like mine as high as it goes on the Celsius marks. But, you know, let, let's try it 200. Right, so now I've got it sorted, so I had to go out there and um, change the coil. Um, I think the one that was in there was a bit of a dud. So you press the button there and you fire away and it shows your ohms of the coil on there now preferably I'd want that to say what temperature it is so possibly there's an update um, if there is an update I will update it and do an updated um, impressions of it but overall that is what it is basically it's not, it's very basic very simple um, there's no fanning about with loads of different settings you've basically got your Let's just go from your titanium in Fahrenheit and Celsius, your nickel in Fahrenheit and Celsius, and your power mode, 
which goes from 0 to 40 watts but we will put that back in titanium which is three clicks there we go and I like mine in Celsius so we click that with the up button and we've got it at 280 Celsius on titanium mode and it's good to go basically so it fits nicely in the hand look at that it is very tiny indeed um, I'm trying to think what I could compare it to really I haven't got any small or very small mods I've got the Kangatech cook tea and the Plato by um, Aspire so the Aspire Plato it's probably more or less the same height as the Plato there um, it's smaller than the Plato it is very very thin um, you've got like a curvedness to it so it fits nicely in the hand you could hide it it's a nice stealth mod there so if you're a lady it's good if you're a man it's good if you're anyone it's good basically um, but yeah no it fits very nicely in the hand indeed I like the way it feels it's not too small but not too big um, and it's good for a finger fire as well so you can do that or your thumb if you like that lovely so what we're going to do we're going to go back up to FaceTime have a bit of a vape have a this uh, bit of a chat about how I think it is and what the flavors like and we will go from there right so we are back up to FaceTime with the Kim Sun TC 40 watt mini it's a nice little device I filled it up with some um, what is it some the black by Zeus juice now that is like a blank black currently menthol flavor so let's take it for a vape impressive amount of cloud there the the juice is a high VG um, I've got the airflow fully open at 280 degrees Celsius maybe you crank that up to 300 300 now I'm not getting any dry hits I'm not getting any burnt hits or gurgling so so far I think the temperature control is working properly um, which is great I've got no complaints or anything really I have had some error messages put up but I found it was because I didn't have the tank screwed on completely so that was messing me up and whatnot but yeah the tank is now screwed on properly and is working absolutely fine so overall first impressions it looks good you've got like this nice little bumpy texture on there that I didn't show you you can't really pick up you can see like little dots on there yeah, it's a little bit grippy on the sides. The buttons are plastic. The fire button's recessed. Overall, it's a nice little device. Now, the drawer is quite tight with the airflow fully open. Um, it, may be, it might suit people mouth to lung a bit better. Let's try it with the airflow probably about two thirds closed don't know it's not very tight I think what about fully closed no fully closed it doesn't work at all right sorry I'm back again there was a blooming police car ragging around and making a noise so overall it's a nice little device I would change the screen to display the temperature uh, when you're firing rather than the ohms I don't see why that would be appropriate um, the temperature seems to be more appropriate but first looks and impressions it seems a nice little device you've got good flavor there it's not brilliant I wouldn't expect brilliant exceptional flavor from that uh, the tank and the airflow um, but overall it's an alright device yeah so let's take it for another vape All right clouds 
Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good clouds from a tank that size. But yeah, overall, it's a nice little device. It is what it is. It does what it does, and it does it all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be vaping on this for about three, four weeks. And in about three, four, four weeks, I'll be giving my full review. So I'd like to thank Kim Sun and Kim Ree for sending me this through for the purpose of review. I will see you in a few weeks. I've been the Devil Vapor, and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.